This is just a gentle reminder to let you know and remember that we are in one of the warmer spots of the country. Yes, we're in the 50s, but look where you could be. Bismarck, 18. Denver, 34. New York's now cooled off to 38. Same temperature in Atlanta, right across the country. Okay, so we're doing well. And we're up 3, 5, 10 degrees in some spots like Vegas. Reading's up 12. So the warmer air is definitely having moved on in. Tehachapi is warmer too. We are now at 46. That's a lot better than it has been. Dew point 16, so overnight lows will dip to freezing. And we have an east wind at 9. We had gusty winds earlier, and now things are starting to calm down. 47 in Lebec, 41 at Fraser Park, 54 at Lake Isabella, 52 in Porterville. That's not bad. Here are the lows from this morning, all right? Dropped off again into the upper 20s. 29 in Wasco, that's not bad, and much warmer than it has been, too, at Fraser Park, Mojave, Glenville, and Lebec also only dropped off to 31. So we've got high pressure and control. Everything stays sunny and dry, but the overnight again tomorrow morning will be cold. The lows stay west. This is a big ridge of high pressure, and it's going to take a while to move this. We keep looking out 7 to 10 days. We don't see any hint of rain, so it could turn out the end of the month, and from now to the end of the month, could be dry, which is not always the best news. We don't like rain every day, but we could always use some. This is the only time of year when we get it in the winter. 56 in Bakersfield right now, 46 in Tehachapi. And look at, you know, look down south, Camarillo, 61. It was earlier, it was 65 there today. So temperatures are going to be in the mid 70s in downtown LA soon. Satellite pictures quiet. Our winds remain easterly at around 10 to 15 miles per hour tomorrow late. And very gusty in the mountains and in the deserts, 15 to 25 miles per hour. There's our high, above average, finally. 58 was the high, 56 is the average for this time of year. And LA, downtown, got to 67, it was 52 in San Francisco, 50 in Tahoe, 60 in Fresno. And those are the forecast highs for tomorrow. That's not bad. And down south, beautiful weather, 72 in Solvang, upper 60s for Pismo Beach. And in Los Angeles, get ready for another nice day. Mid 70s are coming back. And 74 in Palm Springs, maybe. The local residents there will not be freaking out anymore about the cold weather that you saw advertised earlier on Facebook, etc. We've got low 60s coming back in some areas tomorrow. Overnight lows will be between 28 and 32, so definitely cold. More frost on the ground and on your car to scrape in the morning if you park outside. So just be aware of that. Allow some extra time for that. 67, though, we're thinking for Lake Isabella. Almost 60 in Glenville. And not bad at Fraser Park. We're thinking mid 50s. So in the deserts, it doesn't look too bad either. Temperatures there will be rebounding into the low 60s in some spots. And for us, we've got a nice weekend on the way. Now three days away, or two days away, I should say. We just climbed over the hump now. Some upper 60s are on the way. We kind of hover in the 60s for quite a while. No chances of rain, lots of sunshine. So get out there and enjoy it. Wash your car. Jackie's always asking me. Yes, you can. Upper 60s for Kern River Valley. And for the mountains, temperatures look very pleasant, right? Upper 50s to 60. Overnight lows getting out of the freezing mark by the time we get to the weekend. Not only did I wash my car, yes, my mother washed his car. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> we are covered. Remind well, me to thank her tonight. Uh, you better. <laughs> nice. Or she's watching. Or it won't happen you. again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to pull up.